Hey everyone, Mike here with the Astro Explorers. And what I wanted to do today was a real quick video on how to find the sun. And in order to do that, there's just two items that we're needing. Uh, but the main thing that we need to do and focus on is, of course, not staring into the sun. You will go blind and it will hurt, so don't do it. Also, never point your telescope at the sun without a sun filter in place because you will start melting parts of your telescope focusing all of that energy into your, well, into your eyeballs if you look at it. And then I've also seen pictures of people melting lens caps and things like that. So always, always, always be sure not to point your telescope at the sun unless you've got a filter on, and that's the only time. All right, so when we're working with our telescope and trying to look at the sun during the day, uh, you do wanna have a solar filter or sun filter. Uh, this one is a Eclipse Smart by Celestron. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a link to it in the description below. Uh, but it is, if you try to look through it, it is completely black. It almost looks like you're just trying to look through a piece of tin foil. Um, but during the day, or uh, if you're used, or if you've ever used kind of those glasses that you look at solar eclipses with, it's kind of the same material and you can actually see the sun if you just hold this up in front of the sun you can actually see the sun through it uh, just like if you were using those solar eclipse sunglasses but the neat thing about this is it really just fits onto your telescope just as if you were putting on your dust cover or dust shield so you have the same ridges and you just line it up rotate it and there it is now it's on in place and your telescope should be safe to look at the sun uh, i know i've had it up there for 20 30 minutes maybe an hour at a time staring at the sun of course it will get hot so just like anything you leave in the sun you don't want to be touching it but with this cover on in place you should be able to use your telescope safely and look into the eyepiece uh, without damaging yourself. The second item I wanted to discuss was getting a sun finder. And the neat thing about this sun finder is it's one that I actually 3D printed. Uh, I'll put a link to that one for you as well. And there should be some others that you can purchase online as well. And I'll have a link to those. But what you have here is you have a little dot and then you have a target and when you set this on your telescope it should sit nice and flat uh, I just use one of my wife's hair ties <laughs> to uh, hold it in place it doesn't need to be glued on or hard or anything like that but um, you put it on it should be flat resting on your telescope and you guide your telescope and that light source will then start pinpointing, do a pinpoint on your target. And then you're just using your controls as normal to guide that light into the center of your target. And once you're centered, you should be able to look in your eyepiece and see the sun or be rather close to it. Um, I looked through it just a little bit ago. I was pretty spot on. I could see just the edge of the sun. Then I was able to just, you know, tweak this a little bit as it was holding here. And from then on, I could move and track the sun pretty easily. But this piece here, you know, it's a dollar to print or something like that, and has come in extremely handy for looking at the sun. So with these two items, uh, being able to look at that next solar eclipse that's coming up next year, uh, should be rather easy to do with just your telescope and hand controller and not needing to have anything else. <laughs> what I'll do next is I'll go ahead and show how this works, showing that little pin light from the sun getting projected and lining up and then being able to see the sun. All right, so in order for us to be able to use the sun finder, we have it on top of the telescope. It is mostly aligned. Actually, it's pretty well aligned. 
and it just sits flat on here and this is the 3d printed one of course you can get some that will fit on top of your telescope like your red dot sight and what we have is that small hole that then shines the light there and that's where the sun is pointing now if we move the telescope we'll be able to line up the sun and the goal is to get that small little dot into the center and once we have it centered right there then we'll know that we are lined up all right so i hope that made sense on how to use the hand controllers in order to guide the telescope with that pin light and center it um, it's really easy to do you just want to make sure that you're not yourself you know trying to look down the telescope right at the sun i will make it really hard to see i was able to get a couple pictures as well of the sun in the telescope i'll try to get a couple extra ones as well uh, just so you can get an idea of what you can see with this solar filter now i'm going to show two different images and what you'll see is one coming from the telescope with just a normal solar filter and then the other one is going to be maybe some images of the sun that you've seen before uh, and those are going to be H alpha filters uh, that's not something we have here so when you see the bursts from the sun the solar bursts or the waves coming through the sun you're not going to be able to see that with this simple setup what you can see is the outline of the glowing mass and if there's any sunspots you'll be able to see those too and i was able to see several sunspots today and you can see those in the images they'll just be little sun dots or spots <laughs> little dots on the sun and with that in mind when you're if you think that you're going to be doing a lot of solar you might want to look into getting a actual solar system or solar setup now I've been taking a little bit of a look at them recently just to get an idea if that's something I want to do since uh, the solar eclipse is going to be coming in my zone here early next year and they do seem to range from about $750 to start and up so it's maybe something you want to look into if you really want to take some of those beautiful images that have the sun spot or the um, waves in the sun and uh, those solar flares as well so it's really what you want to take pictures of but if what you want to do is really enjoy just seeing the moon cross in front of the sun here in a couple months this setup should do perfect for you all right so with that being said the sun unfortunately is now behind my house I can't look at it anymore but I hope that I was able to answer any questions you might have or give you an idea of what you can see with this telescope when looking at the sun I was using a 32 millimeter lens uh, for looking at the sun and with that it just barely fits the entire sun inside that eyepiece so you don't want to go much bigger because then you won't be able to see much of that sun so with that being said i hope you all have a great night and happy stargazing